Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Esther again with day six of my December um, day by day journal. Uh, if you have seen the previous videos, you could have seen, um, you saw <laughs> that I had been doing uh, those two um, on yesterday's, for yesterday's pages, uh, the pocket pages. So uh, if I did this on day five, it means I have to use them again on day six. So two pocket pages again, but I do only have one picture from today. And that's uh, our Christmas tree. This one is in the living room, a very small one, a thin one, a skinny one. Um, but I wanted to take a picture of it and add it to my journal. Now, as you can see, it's too long uh, to go in one of those pocket pages. So I have to divide it um, in two. And therefore I need something to go in the background. And I thought of using uh, a tag. Now, this is one of the um, newer sets. It's set 2055. It has a tab page and a lot of um, tag dies in the center. So I only have to figure out which size I would like to use. So imagine, um, well, imagine, <laughs> no, there are two pocket pages over here. And then you can <clears throat> see, okay, what would it be like uh, when you use the larger tag? And then it comes with a picture like this, or you use a smaller tag. So, um, well, I can use either of them, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, but I think I will go for the large one. So, I am going to take a sheet of paper, some design paper to do so. And I want some red over, uh, also some red here. So there's red on this side of the page. So I need something red on that side too. Now I can use a piece of this to make a tag. But I think this red, it's more brownish. It's maybe a little bit too much over there. So let me see. Then it's, well, the background, the back side is red with the, the dots. Oh, this might be nice. I've got this one, and this has a little bit red on this side. So imagine this being a tag. Oh, let me see the larger one. <laughs> I think I can do that. So there will be a little bit red in the top corner. Um, hmm. Not sure if that would work. I do have some of that red left, but not, and that's not big enough. You see, it's too small. That won't work. Let me see if there's something else in here. No. These are all older ones. So the best thing for now is, I think, the one with the red label. Let me check what's next. Oh, stripes, no. Or maybe keep it a little bit simple, like this. That might look nice too, because there's already a lot going on on this side of the page. And this might be a little bit too much. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut both of them. And then I will take the large one. Okay. I'll, I will cut them together. I'm not sure if the, this will work in my die cutting machine but because it's just quite a simple shape it might work uh, cutting them two at the same time i'm just going to give it a try if it's not working well then it's not working <laughs> let me see something like this okay make sure it's a little bit straight on this side because of the text. Okay, hopefully it won't move too much. <laughs> and let's see what happens <laughs> if it will cut both at the same time. I hope it does. <laughs> Let me see. Yes, it did work. So that saves a little bit of time. 
Not that I'm in a hurry, but you know, if it's not necessary to cut it twice, why would you? So putting this back on and putting this one back also because otherwise I know it's going to be a lot more messier here. So and now it's better to see which one would look nicer on this side to use. I do like the red on this side, uh, I must say. But this one is also okay, but then I need to uh, add a lot of, of or a lot of um, some red labels or other uh, red ephemera, um, red embellishments. So I think to make it easy, I will go for this one. And then maybe add a little bit more red in the corner here, or maybe do something with red um, reinforcers. Not sure yet. Hmm. Yep, okay. Don't think too long. So, taking these two out. And I do have to remember now that the one with the dots is the one which I want to use at the top. Oh, and this one is still separate, so I can put this one back in. Okay, so putting this one away now. And uh, let me see, let me think. So this is going to be the two uh, cards which go into the pocket pages. And then this one comes on top with a picture on top of it. Um, the picture is too wide, so I need to uh, cut something off. And I don't, I want to remove the white borders. So. Start with the white borders first, and then we'll see how much I need to cut off after that. <clears throat> I think it looks nice when I'm going to put it somewhere at the bottom side, not covering up the red, of course. So it's going to be here, and I think I'm going to trim down a little bit on this side so uh, the Christmas tree is more to the right oh I hope you can see it and then I can if I want I can glue something on top of the door over here but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet but and I need a mat also so it needs to be um, some smaller than it is now it needs to be smaller so just eyeballing and I think I want to get rid of something like this and then putting it back on again. And this looks quite nice, but maybe I can make it a little bit thinner, a little bit smaller, uh, because I want to use a mat. I can't do much uh, on the height, because otherwise, uh, maybe a little bit, but... No, I'm keeping the height, height as, as it is. Uh, so it will be something like this. Now, a little bit of there too, from this side. And then, um, yeah, just a little bit on this side. Just uh, to make sure, I've got plenty of room to put uh, a mat underneath. So this is going to be something like this, and then later on I will attach it here, and then cut it in half, So, but you will see that. Um, now, for the mat, what kind of color do I need to do there? Do I want to do there? So we've got this red thing on the other side with the, the busy pattern. Um, maybe just some plain black? No. Let me start by inking the tag first. So I know it looks different when it has some ink on it. And I'm still using Freight Burlap. Uh, maybe it's nice to use another color now and then, but I still like this one, so why not? Well, you don't see it on this side, because that's dark already. Okay, there's a little bit more contrast already going on. Now I want this one here, and I think I will go for black. Let me see. There should be some black paper here, left from yesterday. Yes, it is. <laughs> and then I am 
looking for something like this. I think that will work. Or maybe a lighter color. Now, I do like some black too. Black, black, black. I'm going to put it here in this corner using this. And again, this one is going into one of the pocket pages. So um, you don't need to use that much of glue. And then I am cutting it by hand, hopefully <laughs> making a straight cut. Okay. So that looks better already. Then we also have this piece, of course, because that's going to be my day six. Oh, I can glue day six on the door. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. I like it better when it's something like this. Of course, I also need, uh, it's not, um, how do you say it? Let me think. I do want to apply uh, a reinforcer over here too. Now, I do have some of those pre-cut already, but I'm not sure if there, for example, is a black one in there. I do have, a, oh, the red one might be nice too. Do you see? The, oh, black one too. That one goes here and it gives you just a little bit extra of red uh, when you put it next to your other page. Let me see. So it should be somewhere like this. So it can use some extra red. That's no problem. You see what I mean? I think we're good with the red. <laughs> Tech topper, or how do you want to call it? Tech topper, reinforcer. No, it's not a tech topper. It's more like a reinforcer. And because I like it uh, that it's quite red red, I'm not going to ink the edges. Maybe only the side. Because uh, I want, yeah, I really need a little bit of red. So just a little bit, tiny bit. Okay, I'm going to glue that one down. Uh, some glue. So I can't forget to put this one on. Let me see if it's a little bit straight. Yes, it is. I'm not sure if I used enough glue, but it's there. Okay. Putting it back onto my layers so I won't forget. <laughs> Uh, so there's this red thing on top. I've got my Christmas tree down here. I do have a little bit of red at the bottom side. The bottom side. Uh, I do think it maybe can use a little bit extra. Now, and the other thing is that how should I glue, uh, divide it in the, into the two pocket pages? Uh, shall I divide it equally or shall I slide this one to the top? So that will give me a little bit more space at the bottom side. So that's one of the possibilities. You can also do this, slide this one uh, more down. Of course, I also want the tag to go down then. And then do something like this with um, my day, my number day, day, day. So then it's not equally divided to or do you want it to go into the middle? So divide the tag on the two uh, pieces. So I'm just eyeballing again. I'm not measuring anything. So then it would be something like this. And then you can add the, the, the picture. Okay. Uh, I must say I, uh, I like this option uh, less. So I prefer to do this, going down all the way, or going up. And in this case, I think I will go for the down, uh, <laughs> the downwards position. Yes, I like this most. And then, of course, I need to trim this in half later on. And it will also cut my tree in half, or uh, cutting off the top of the tree. But I don't mind. So um, let me start first by... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Gluing the tag down on the, the, um, the bottom card, the bottom side. 
so it stays there. Somewhere in the corner. And you see, I'm also moving it a little bit more to the right uh, and not centering it in the middle of this card. It goes a little bit more to the right. And then I am gluing the picture down too. I will use some tape, that's easy. Here we go. And then this one goes here. Also not centered in the middle of the tank, uh, but uh, a little bit more to the right. So now uh, I can cut this off. Uh, I think that's a little bit hard to do with this one. So I am taking my other paper cutter. Cutter. And this one has this little iron piece of twine. So I can really see very well where I am going to cut um, this piece of paper and hopefully it does what I want it to do. Yes, <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. So this one goes here and that one goes there. The only thing now is that I have to make sure that these two are lining out perfectly. So don't glue one over here or don't glue the one completely to the right, but just on the same distance as this one is. So I'm going to do that one. Um, am I okay? Let me check. <laughs> what am I doing? Yes, this is okay. Now lining them, make sure they are on top of each other and oh, oops. <laughs> I said on top of each other, please. <laughs> and then I am gluing down this one. So it's a smooth line from top to bottom. Okay, so here's my one picture divided uh, for two pocket pages to go into two pocket pages. Now here's another red embellishment piece, which I would like to use. Uh, it has to go there. I think I will offset it to the left, so it ba it's, it's a little bit more in balance than instead of gluing it down here. And I hope you can see the difference, what it does if you are gluing it down somewhere else. And for this one I am going to divide it in half, so I make sure this one now is in the half of this piece of paper. And I can glue it down. Or I can use a staple, which I also think it's fun. Or I can use a staple and then glue it down. So you won't see the staple on the other side. Oh, bummer. Wrong again, Esther. Oh, I am so happy I used the tape runner now. You saw what happened? <laughs> I had this picture upside down. No, uh, I turned it around once. So it has to be this way. And then this one has to go here. So I have to glue it down again. I'm so happy I noticed it now. <laughs> How is that possible, by the way? What happens? I don't know. Okay, but I'm lucky. I'm happy that I now noticed it. And not when I've completely finished um, <laughs> these two pages or these two pocket pages. Okay, saved by the bell, I would say. <laughs> no. Kidding, but I'm good. You see, this one has uh, nothing on the back because there's something else in the pocket, but I know for sure I'm good now and they are evenly on top of each other. So this one goes here and I think I will do uh, a fake <laughs> um, staple paper just for fun. It's just a little detail and you hardly notice it. And then I'm going to glue it down over here. Um, it's a little bit thicker and I'm not sure if this one will hold, but well, give it a try. And if it falls off, it will be in my pocket page. So trying to divide it, centering, centering it a little bit. And I think this one will be okay. Oh, it's quite an easy page. This already has a lot of, uh, a lot going on too. So if you don't want to, you don't need to add much more over there 
I do want to add some twine. So, always got some twine on hand. Maybe I can add something, a little tag or something. Let me see what's in here. Because it's quite simple to, oh, cozy days. That might be fun. Hmm, why not? It cover, it does cover up the whole red here. And that's something I like a little bit less, but, hmm. So it should be something small because doing this, I mean, I like the word cozy days. I can stamp that. Maybe I can stamp it over here. Okay, let me see if there's a little card in there. Christmas time, that might be fun too. Um, Jennifer, let me think. I did have some extra frames pre cut somewhere. Let me see if I can find them. Uh, where are they? No. Uh, yes. My slides. Because I did something fun with those two. No, no red pre cut ones with Christmas. No, 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 no. So, okay. That's a no go for now. <laughs> This might be fun. Now I want to add something. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, there's one in red. Cozy days. That looks better. It hasn't been stamped really properly, so it does miss a little bit red over here. But you know, that's just the vintage grungy style. So I don't mind that at all. But I must say, Hmm. Somehow I like it more in black to go here than in red. Not sure if you will agree with me, but you know, it's my journal, so I can do what I want. No, just kidding. Um, I do like the, the black more. North Pole, well, we do have a little bit snow over here. Penis location, hmm. that's also a nice one. What else do we got? Spooky stemming. It's always nice to browse through those boxes with bits and pieces. Oh, that might be nice to add a little bit extra red, or maybe somewhere here. Okay, that's my ba my maybe maybe it's over here, and this is no a railway express agency. Oh, that might be nice. Why not? It doesn't have anything to do with my tree, but I do like it somehow. Okay, another maybe. Another maybe. 25 cents. Oh, that's a cute one too. Let me see how I can do this. That's not bad either. Hmm. Okay. Christmas is here, some wording, no. Also not want that one. This is from last year, I think, from one, one of the reminiscence books, or from a paper pack, I don't know yet. I can't remember, I think it's from a book. What else have we got, Spe special delivery. Oh, this is nice too. Another maybe. So you see how hard it is to make a decision <laughs> to make something. Very merry. This says December. Oh, this is one uh, I made with the, no, that's too big. The December dead f uh, set from Annette's workshop. Uh, more maybes. A cone, candy cane. The December word again. Oh, there's this little embellishment thingy. I'm not sure where I got that one from, but it is nice. It is nice, guys. Okay, I still make up your minds. Postage stamp. 
just a quick browse through just in case I did miss something. I'm good now. And I do have another <laughs> tray here uh, with more vintage uh, ephemera or ephemera, paper pieces, die cuts, cuttings, paper cuttings. So uh, lots of things to choose from. This one might be nice too. Oh, just add something more. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Photo frames, no. Okay. I need to choose something from this. I think I'm going to add this one too because it has some green. Uh, this is green. Maybe it's hard for you to see on screen, but it does have some green and also a little bit of extra reds. So that one is a good one for me. And oh, hopefully I didn't put the needle back in. So let me see if this works. This one goes here, just as an extra little uh, detail. And now I thought maybe it would be fun to cut this one off and put it here. So there's another extra layer popping out from the back. And it's okay, but I think it's too small. Ah, too small. So I might need uh, something extra back there. Now I can look for, um, maybe there's a green label in there from one of the sheets of the new paper pack. I'm not sure if I've got one left, but let me see. I can also do this, December 2023. That would be nice. This is also from the paper pack. And maybe sliding this underneath and then this one. Okay, let me cut something off. I don't need that much. Yeah, it might work. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to give it a try. See what it looks like. Yeah, but it looks okay, but then... <laughs> oh, no, that's not the one. Where did it go? Here. They are going to be too close together. Then I should move it to this side. December 2023. No, I don't like that either. Let me see. <laughs> no, somehow it doesn't work for me. This one is okay. But, 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 but. No. Oh, I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's going to be too much. You know, you've got one, two, three, four. Take this away, Aston. Maybe only this one here. Let me see what happens if I... Punch the hole out. It does look better, but we're not there yet. Not there yet. I have this little thingy here. I also like these. This is the thinner paper. I. It would have been better if I had a piece of those with um, the thicker paper. Or I can just glue it on another piece of cardstock and then hang it over here. Hang it over here. Hang it here. Attach it here. Okay. I hope you know what I'm talking about. I don't like this. Don't know why. I don't know why. A bigger one. Cut it in half. Let me see if this works. This might do. This might do, and then adding this one on top. Oh, it's just going to be too much, guys. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, this one is this is good. This is good. I need something there, and I don't want to spend that much time anymore because you know it's December. We've got other things to do. We've got other things to do. Uh, I'm good with this one. This is okay too, but it's still missing something on top there. So let me start with this one first and maybe, shall I add this one too? Hmm. I do have one of those smaller punches. 
to make a small hole and just see what happens if I uh, add the two of those together. I have no idea where this little thingy comes from, but it's something like uh, Tim Holtz uh, also has in his collection, you know, the little metal plates. So you don't, you probably have some of those. Yeah, it looks much better now. Okay. I think I will go for this. Shall I make a double knot or a single knot? Uh, oh. <laughs> Why do we have to overthink everything? Just make a knot. Just make a knot. Okay. I like it this way. No, 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 no. These are enormous scissors, but okay. You can cut off some of the twine. And I think it looks pretty well like this. I'm not going to attach anything here. Mm. <laughs> I'm still in, a little bit in doubt, as you can see. Oh, this might be nice. Just add the word December. But there's already something there. So I'm going to do uh, is using my stapler again, adding some ink over here. My staple just for fun because I can't punch through other, because it will damage the other side, and that's what I don't want. And if you glue it down this way, um, I think it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, let's see. And I want this to be on top of the tag. So lining it out, uh, I hope I say it correctly, and <laughs> lining it out with the tag. Okay. And now uh, I'm just going to slide it into the pocket pages and hopefully it looks nice. I think it does look nice this way. So back to my journal. Um, this one goes here. Yes, that's the bottom part. <laughs> and this one goes there. I'm just making it very exciting by not looking on the other side yet. <laughs> I have no idea what it would look like. Oh, the embellishment is a little bit... Okay. ta -da -da -da. Okay, here we go. Let me see what it looks like. Okay, just playing around with a piece of twine a little bit. If you want, you can glue this down so it doesn't move. Uh, but I think it looks pretty nice this way. So you see, I divided the picture in half. So it's divided into two pocket pages. Added some embellishments for today. Um, day six, December day by day. And now as, as I'm looking at it, it might need something extra here. Down here in this corner, just to make it a little bit, bit more balanced. Because there's a lot of stuff going on there, and I missed something on the lower part of this page. So maybe I've got something laying around here. Cozy days. Would that look nice? Hmm. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I think I will go for this one. Because of the paper punching, you can see a little bit of the white inside of the ring here. And I'm going to um, cover that up with a marker. This one is a little bit grayish. So you don't see the white anymore. You can also use black. Um, and now I have to see if it looks nice. I have no idea. Just thinking it needed something extra. I think it looks nice. And I'm also going to add. Uh, a small reinforcer, just a little one. And the glue is stuck down again. <laughs> Oops. I know the tech is upside down, but who cares about that? 
Okay. And now just a little small uh, reinforcer to go on top of that. Taking one of my boxes with reinforcers again. I need a tweezer or something that makes it a little bit easier. And I need one of the round ones. Oh, I do have one with... No, it doesn't. <laughs> I thought there's one with some text on it. But no, there is not. These are the different ones. I think I will go for a plain one. But I do give it a little bit of ink. Just as a little detail. And then that one goes here. And again, it's just a little bit extra. If you want, you can add... Oh, shall I add some twine too? Yeah, I can do that. Just a little bit. Nothing on there. Just a little knot and some twine. Just for fun. Make a double knot. And you don't need to have these long pieces, so I'm just cutting it up. And I think I like it now. So, and these two can be glued together now, because they're ready. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue in between the two of them. And I'm not going to change anything anymore. So I'm just leaving it the way it is now. I have to slide them in from this side. They're not upside down. No, they're not. <laughs> okay. And here we are. Day six. I hope you can see it. <laughs> yes, you can. Day six divided into two, two pocket pages. And uh, it was really fun to do this one too. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope I've been giving you some more inspiration again. And hopefully I will see you back tomorrow. Same time, same place um, here on my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.